Five years ago, the most important things in my life, NFL football, drinking, pornography, everything that it shouldn't be, pretty much. Escaping uh, reality in any way, shape, or form, drugs. My priorities were my children, making sure that they were happy and were able to get through what was going on in the family. I was the, the big bad daddy. Um, I ruled the house instead of with a loving hand, with a, with a backhand. I'd come home from work and my children would run away from me rather than run to me. I mean, I didn't enjoy running out of the house in a, in a rage, jumping in my company truck and driving off to the liquor store to pick up a Mickey or rum and then sitting on some country road alone drinking and then coming home and thinking, there, everything will be better now. Like, I always prided myself in being a self-made man. Everything I have, I had attained it myself. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, why am I not enjoying this? I had no answers. And, and, and it was very empty and very frustrating. My first initial reaction to them was, oh, it must be the Mormons again, because it was one of those kind of warm, fuzzy ads, you know, the feel good, get off your butt off the couch and do something with your family kind of deal. And I saw them five or six times and never really thought much of it. And it was finally the one I saw Paul Henderson again, and I was sitting on the couch with a beer in my hand watching football. And finally it just touched me that, hey, there was a website. I didn't know they were on the internet. Maybe I should check it out and see who these jokers are. Something was drawing me, obviously. So I got up and went and logged on. Sat there for a few minutes looking at it and asked Kathy to come and join me and we started reading what was on the site. It was, it was very eye-opening. The thing that struck me the most was it wasn't condemning, it wasn't pushy, it was just offering the truth. And the thing that I found the most intriguing was this relationship with Jesus Christ. I think, I think the reason that it um, connected with us so quickly and so intensely was that we were both at our wits end. Uh, we had no one to turn to, nowhere to go. It offered so much hope. I think, that's, I think that was the thing. It, it offered hope. It, it offered something that no man could give. And, oh, I don't know, what was it, the second time we visited the website? Um, I, I prayed the prayer that's offered online. Just the, the look in his face, like in his eyes, you could definitely see it right away. Um, his eyes were locked, he didn't look so hard and, and, he, and angry anymore. He always was looked angry. He was always mad about something. He had like this glow that um, I, I hadn't seen. New creation. Definitely a new creation. It, w it was probably about four or five months after he did it, <laughs> that I actually accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Because I was thinking, hey, if anything can change him, <laughs> for the better, <laughs> let's go for it. That, that's what it is right now. My life is completely Christ-centered. And, uh, and now I'm reaping the rewards here on earth. I've got a family that loves me now. We can be honest. It's, it's absolutely life transforming. My son came up to me just the other day and said, you know, I really, really like the new daddy. That was great.